Hey, in this lesson, we're going to make the eyebrows. Um, so, in general, just you know, start with the cube. Uh, in general, whatever eyebrows you end up making, they're not going to be geo like this. So you probably are not going to make eyebrows like this unless you're making uh, maybe some kind of sculpture, you know, uh, and and then you could do it in another software. But um, I'm just going to show you guys how to make this anyway because. Uh, there's some good uh, tools you learn in uh, how to make this eyebrow. Okay, so move that cube forward so you can work on it. And uh, extrude. Pretty easy. These eyebrows are, are comically high right now. Uh, it, it doesn't look that way in the drawing, but once, uh, once they're done in 3D, you can see uh, you know, generally you want the eyebrows to kind of follow the ridge of the uh, uh, of, of the the orbital, uh, you know, the skull. But sometimes they go a little bit above too. Right now these are like chola eyebrows. You know, the ones that are drawn on with the sharpie. So even here I'm kind of trying to put them a little bit below because they look ridiculously high. But uh, let's see what it looks like in 3D in uh, perspective view. Okay, so I'm finding that they look a little bit too round, uh, rounded on the end. To give them that angle that I, that I created in the drawing, I'm going to put a cut in them. Okay, and try to fiddle with that a little bit. So right now we got this big fat eyebrow that's kind of sitting above the uh, the face, and there's a pretty easy way to get it on the face. If you just hit that big magnet icon, it's called Make Live. Uh, your verts will conform to the face. Now, if you move, if you just use the uh, manipulator arrow, uh, it's not going to really conform to the face. But if you use that little circle in the middle, uh, you'll see that it starts to kind of follow the face. So, make li whatever object you click on and make make that object live. That object becomes the uh, the binding for whatever you move onto it. It becomes like a uh, I don't know, like the surface for that for that other object. And it works really well for uh, drawing edges and uh, paint effects you need to make live and things like that. I'm trying to create a little bit more of a sharp angle on top of this eyebrow. We'll see how that works out. All right, so now we have an eyebrow that's kind of on the surface. Looks a little bit better. Yeah, the corner of it's still going uh, up too high. I'm going to try and make it a little bit thicker. Okay and obviously not have it hover above. So just move that until it's uh, intersecting. Um, other methods of making an eyebrow would include uh, paint effects. Uh, paint effects act actually, if you go in the visor, there's eyebrow brushes. There's, uh, um, you know, there's fur you can use for the eyebrow if you feel like it. You can uh, duplicate some of the, uh, uh, well, you can paint it right into the texture, obviously, and create a bump map and stuff like that. Uh, or if you want to create it as an alpha above the, the face, you can duplicate some of the uh, faces. I, w I wouldn't do it that way, though. You know, if you're, if you're making it for a game, it's going to end up being a texture. If you're making it for live action, you might end up using uh, fur. But nonetheless, um, you know, you might be using curves to, uh, to, to make it anyway. 
uh, if you're doing paint effects and stuff like that and you're still gonna have to make live Okay, so just push that in. It's looking pretty decent. And the more I look at it, the more I see I kind of want it to, to get lower and lower. Let's just look at it from every angle, make sure it looks right. And when we move it with that Z, it doesn't obey the uh, the make live. So if you click on one edge and then you double click another edge that's in that same edge loop, it'll just select that portion of the edge loop, not the whole thing. So that's a really useful uh, tool as well. Okay. So uh, in the next uh, lesson, we're going to learn to do eyelashes. And uh, we're going to make eyelashes that are actually pretty useful uh, image planes, or uh, planes for a, a texture that we're going to put on later.